In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite integrations, and we're going to learn how you can integrate 1 over 1 plus x squared. And we're going to use what I think is a really genius trick, one of the cleverest approaches to an integration that I've seen for a long time. So we've got our integral there. And when we look at the denominator, that's just not very nice. There is no easy way to deal with that that is immediately obvious. However, there is an absolutely genius substitution that you can do that just works out wonderfully on this integration. So what you do is you let x equal tan theta. Very strange. It would take you a long time and a lot of guessing to come up with that. And it actually works really well. But the problem is we are introducing theta and we've got a dx there. So that's going to be a nuisance. So we need to find the derivative first. So we're going to find dx d theta. And the derivative of tangent is, of course, secant squared. We need to replace this dx with something in terms of d theta. So we rearrange that and we get dx equals secant squared d theta. So we've now got everything we need to do the substitution. So we're going to replace the x squared with tan theta, and we're going to replace the dx with secant squared d theta. So I've just done that substitution there. So we have a new integration here, and it looks like we've made it much worse, but it's actually going to get a bit better. Now, the other clever thing that we can do is we can recognize that this bottom part is actually another trig identity. Secant squared theta is actually 1 plus tan squared theta. So you can actually replace all of this with secant squared. And this is where the clever bit comes in because all of this actually cancels. So this is going to cancel with this. So you've really just got the integration of 1 d theta, or in other words, d theta. And when you integrate that, it's giving you a nice, wonderfully simple result, which is just theta plus c. This is partially helpful, but we're not really interested in the integral in terms of theta. We want the integral of this, and this is an x. So we need to change theta back to x. So previously, we used the substitution that x equals tan theta. We need to rearrange this for theta, and we simply take the inverse tangent of both sides to get theta equals the inverse tangent of x. So we can replace theta here with the inverse tan of x, and that gives us our final answer. So by just doing this x equals tan theta substitution, it works out absolutely perfectly, and you get your integration straight away. So hopefully that video has been helpful to you, and you enjoyed this genius trick. Thank you very much for watching.